Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. I am so excited because we finally get to talk about the MLB this week. Before we go any further with your trolling and your chirping and your DMs, yes, I will state the obvious. I'm an Astros fan and this is an Astros jersey. But until I see how this team does this year without the little bit of extra help, I'm gonna go ahead and rock this throwback Nolan Ryan, not only because he's a badass, but because this jersey is sick. Now as a sports better, we have to look at all of the variables. We're used to a 162 game season. Now it's down to 60 games. You gotta think about what happens in 60 games. And the perfect example would be the last year 2019 World Series champs, the Washington Nationals. So at 60 games, the Washington Nationals were 27 and 33 not too impressive take someone like the rangers on the other hand they were 32 and 28 but they ended their season under 500. so i'm not saying that a favorite won't win but i am saying that the unpredictability within a 60 game schedule should give you a little bit more value to look at than playing a favorite all right so i have an american league pick and a national league pick my american league pick is the blue jays with big big plus money my National League pick is going to be the Diamondbacks, also big plus money. I'm not saying that a favorite won't win, but I'd rather play a favorite when we have a real season of 162 games instead of this unpredictable 60. So one thing that doesn't make sense to me is how they're going to enforce this no spitting thing. They're not allowed to have peanuts, sunflower seeds, tobacco, and obviously spit. Not to mention the pitchers are not allowed to lick their fingers. Is there gonna be like a Karen on the sidelines like tallying up every infraction? Okay, next I will go with my prop of the week found for y'all, of course, on FanDuel. I took Jorge Soler to lead the MLB in homers at the end of the season. Again, the key word here is value. So he's not a big name, he's not a household name, he's not a small market team, but he was third in home runs last year. And I know a lot of people are gonna go with the big names on the big market team, but I would rather go with someone that will give me more bang for my buck. All right, y'all, that's all I have for this week. I'm super pumped for MLB, so stay with me and let's make some money.